the the shows are not like group women shows. He just put up their works because he have a large space, empty walls on those first floor of his of his father's uh, first story shop shop lot. No, so it was very informal, not like the one that we have in the in the yeah. gallery. You know? Yeah. Because because sure. was he he sponsored all by himself. You know. You know, even when, when we have uh, talk at night, we have discussion forums, there be drinks around, all the other things. He, he paid for all this thing. That's my God. This guy is, is a real, a real, a real, a real generous guy, right? very generous. So the show that he had is mostly shows of his best friends. Because we want to make uh, Studio 22 as a kind of a catalyst for us to come in, we invite any personalities that we, we feel that close to us, who are willing to join us you know, and help to enrich our knowledge in art. That's why um, I find uh, the, 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 the period of the 70s is a very exciting period because uh, first time, fine artists and the writers and the poets and the theater people get together. You know? We happen to have, um, I think, two shows, we call it, Manifestasi Dua Seni and where, where what we do like uh, the artists will study the poem like Saud uh, Jamal will study a poem by uh, who is that? Yeah, called uh, Kasim Ahmad called Kidang Roh you know? and then he make painting out of it or somebody like Kamala we look at my painting and make a, a saja out of it you know so the other collaboration become another another project that we that came out from this kind of friendship. So it was very interesting period because art is no more, painting is no more mean do your painting and show, but painters move out from their cocoon, you know. This is a very, very friendly, very unassuming, almost ready to share ideas, you know, very likable personality. And it's not pretentious, selfless, you know. And always uh, ready to help students in the class, ready to talk, to mingle. He's a team player. I used to frequent, you know, Poipua have his uh, studio, and I am here, of course, because we, we live close by. We have, we have, we have migrated from uh, Petang Jaya to Kelang. So we talk a lot. We talk a lot because we spend hours and hours when we pair us out. We'll, you know, expound all these theories about art, activity, and we, are, we, we shake our head and we, we join in, you know. But uh, he's not very vocal by, by nature. He's very quiet, you know. But he's very smart, he's intelligent, he listens. He's very sharp. But he's not as vocal as Pia and myself. You know? So we talk a lot, Prince. But still, uh, at the time, I myself was very much, I, myself and Pia was very much into this, uh, new scene art, you know, talking about the idea of new aesthetic, the idea about finding a new language of art. We try to debunk this expressionism, the abstractionism to find a new language, you know. So we talk a lot with Poir and Poir just should be said like because I think in, in a way he shared the same sentiment as us because if you look at his prints, you know, mm. it's devoid of this uh, emotional, this gestural, this expressionistic, intuitive thing. It's very deliberate. It's very hard age, you know. Just like what I'm, I'm talking about, about in hard age painting, you know, constructivist kind of mindset. We, 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 are not, we are not inclined towards emotion, feelings, you know, intuition. You know? We are more very deliberate. We are very, 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 very uh, concept-oriented, you know. So in our work, in our work, we don't find kind of indulgence in all these brush strokes or this artist, artist signature, artist soul. I mean, Jamal said there is no soul in your work. I used to make fun of Jamal. Where is the soul in, in your work? I said, <laughs> you know, like, because we talk, we talk about soul, soul, you know. And we are like, uh, we are another school of thought because Jamal, Jinling, Jufo, they were trained in London in in the six in the early fifties, early early sixties, you know. And they were called, taught this NDD program. ND program, National Performing Art Design, you know. 
This program clearly they emphasize on the artist as being an artist. Artist, uh, the idea of uh, artist as individual, genius, uh, art, art as personal expression. Art is something that is unique to your own your own personality. You know, very romantic ideas. You know? mm -hmm. So, art is basically is a way of making pictures. You know, and your personal signature, your personal style is very important. We stress on that. Also of self realization. Cell actualization, you know, be yourself. You know. But the course that I took in London with Pia is the Baha system of education. It's a diploma in art design. It is totally, totally different kind of pedagogic kind of a, a program, you know. Here, we have to, the art is language, you know. An artist is also art, the problem, art is always searching problem. It's a, always, uh, Solving problem, problem solving. Art is problem solving, and the artist is a visual thinker. He thinks about problems about structure of space, line, colors. He make no reference to nature. We are we are not interested in painting landscape, painting human figures. No, our work are self-referential. If I talk about color, about color, how the how this two color red and green vibrates because of the frequency of the light. You know. We are more like scientist artists talking. So this is the kind of mindset. This is what triggers us into conceptual or later on. Because the course that we are taught in Deep AD it stress so much on liberal studies. In other words, art is not just uh, not in isolated phenomenon. It has to relate with sociology, psychology, philosophy, aesthetic. That. So we are need to pass exams, you know, in these areas, you know. So this is very important because art is interrelated with other bigger, other other bigger form of knowledge. So when you do art, you have to know philosophy, like Pia said. Every art style that you do, there is a philosophical roots behind it. So not to know it, you will end up becoming a cool desa. You know, you just making pictures. You know? So to do pop art, you must know what is philosophy behind pop, you know. If you do abstract expressionism, how existentialism, for example, you know the idea of, you know, uh, death of death of man, you know, the idea of work by Jacob Mati, work by uh, Mrs. Bacon, the idea of expressionism, how the philosophy of existentialism become the idea of artist to paint painting as if this is last moment, you know, painting as your painting your 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 yourself out. There. So, philosophy is one of the basic things that we always talk about. And we, we discussed this a lot with with Kuo you know, and we talked about you know. In 1973 to 74, I was a constructor for the fan art department. And we have, uh, of course, prim, uh, painting, sculpture, filmmaking, as three major areas. And the painting department is the, has the biggest number of staff, you know. Uh, myself, we have Dasa, we have Joseph Tan, we have uh, Chung Kang Kao, even Tan Tak Khan. And, and then uh, remaking is strange. We do not have a full-time staff, you know. That's why we recruit whoever available in, around, you know, those who are qualified from overseas. So at the time, uh, there was Kok Nupua that we know. There was Long Tianxi. And then even Elsil No. Sometimes even Latip Morgan came once in a while, eh? chip in, you know. Uh, in most art school, even in Europe, you know, when I was in Hongzhi, to be in a painting department is, is like a privilege, you know. Painting right. is, like, is, a, is a place to be. Sculpture is secondary. The making like reading as a marginal is like a, a is a sub subordinate subject, you know, because I think this is partly bias of Western art history. You know? All the great artists are always painters, you know. Time of Renaissance, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, they were painters. You know? Very modern art, Picasso, Matisse, you know, Polo, you know, that they are painters. So painting in most art school is a place that most artists like to be in, you know. So likewise, 
we bring this prejudice, this kind of biases in, in Mara. I think because uh, the making is very laborious kind of uh, uh, subject. We have to have proper equipment, you know, all the facilities. At that time, when we first started uh, in 1973, we moved, we moved from Petaling Jaya to Sha'alam. Right. We're just starting out, you know. So we are not ready because to, to, to do a good filmmaking, really, you, you might have proper equipment, you know, that we are just, we have only have one etching press and then we make up, make do with a spin table and things like that. That's why we do not have uh, permanent staff teaching filmmaking. They always come and go and come and go, you know, because of this, maybe this kind of prejudice against that filmmaking is not, that important as opposed to painting or sculpture. The, all the technical things you have to master, which people find a bit, a bit uh, hindering your creativity, you know. Mm. I'm, 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 I'm very impressed that he's, he's, he's as talented as a painter as he is a filmmaker. You know? Of course, most filmmakers, when you come to painting, they're not so strong. You know? but by some of his early, some of his painting, I was very impressed that like he, he knew, you know, the real problem of painting, the flatness of painting, you know, how to get this surface tension, you know, the colors. So for a pre-maker who's his screen, his work is brilliant. I, I, I really, I really, I'm impressed. I'm impressed that he can do such a, uh, achieve very, very accomplished kind of painting. I was very impressed by his kind of, his, Figure is not anatomically perfect, you know, but it has its own beauty, its own style, you know. Like when I look at the figure, the face look, look funny, but funny in a very interesting way, you know. Like you look, it's not right, you know. Then the bone, the structure, all that, you know? but but somehow that's poor, you know. You know, but he painted very convincingly. Even 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 the 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 the, the bones are not right, but he painted as if it's right, you know. In in our school. To be able to paint figure is the highest achievement. If you can paint paint figure, I mean, figure, if you, even in Western art, you know, you know great artists always who paint figure, Rubens, Leonardo, you know. You know? So when we first train in Hongzhi, first thing to do is always paint nude painting, nude painting, only talk about anatomy, 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 how the inside affect the outside, you know, how to work the bone. So I was very conscious of looking at the portrait. How the bone structure, the jaw, the skull. And so I look at it's very weird. His painting is weird, you know. Like obviously he, he doesn't study anatomy, you know. But but so, so what, you know? So what, you know? Uh, many artists doesn't paint perfect image, but see they they are strong. So that's why I impressed. He can jump from screen to figurative art, full of narrative, which is so meaningful about. The life state, uh, urban, urban scape of Klang Town itself, you know. So the, the work is, I think to me, his, his painting is much more important than his print in terms of the content and also in terms of the, the formalistic and aesthetic achievement. Because uh, here is a printmaker who did painting, which I think. Even better, some of our trained painters themselves, some artists who painted. 